Hi there, welcome to Camping Secrets. I'm Marky Mark. I've been waiting for this day where the cold weather would break, it would heat up a bit, and rain would start pouring down from the sky. We're not quite there yet, but there's grey skies ahead. So I'm taking this opportunity to take a few days for a little road trip down to the borders of England and Wales, close to Hay on Wye. And I'm going to be taking some Rohan gear, which I've recently got. I've got this awesome Ventus waterproof shell and I've got the Dry Ranger waterproof trousers. I want to put them through their paces, see how they work, see how they act. They've got a really high hydrostatic head of 20,000. So I think these are going to be good. They feel good to the hand. Let's dig into this. Good to see a bit of rain coming down. This is what we want when you're testing waterproof gear. So we're just coming past Worcester here, heading to the borders of Wales. Uh, time to get away on my own just for a few days of R&R. &R. So um, yeah, I've got some Rohan gear to review here. I want to go on some nice walks. I love the rain bucketing down and I want to see how good the Rohan jacket and waterproof trousers are. So um, Rohan, I mean, they're a company that came onto my radar recently, but they've been around quite a long time and actually it's their 50 year anniversary this year. They were formed in 1972 by Paul and Sarah Howarth. Uh, Paul was a research scientist and interested in sort of textiles and uh, outdoor gear, for example. And actually a Rohan jacket was used by the first mountaineer to climb Everest without oxygen, uh, Peter Haviler, in 1978. So Rohan do have that pedigree. And they, like I say, they're, you know, they're probably not the most well-known mate to the average person. Uh, you know, I wouldn't call them a trendy brand, but from my experience, their gear is exceptional quality. Yes, it's towards the upper end of the budget range, but absolutely lovely materials and textiles. It's a UK company. There's over 50 stores. So you can go onto the rohan.co.uk website to find where the stores are located. Um, but yeah, I'm really interested to see this jacket. And uh, the Ventus jacket, I'm, you know, I was just, in a tactile sense, it just felt really nice. Uh, didn't have that Gore-Tex sort of, Gore-Tex Pro sort of stiff, noisy material much more tactile, much more softer fabric with that 20,000 hydro hydrostatic head. I'm really hopeful that they'll get any leaks and can really enjoy what the UK December weather has got to uh, offer me. Anyway, I'll check back in when we get closer to Hay on Y. Bye for now. Whoa, ho, ho. There is Penny Beacon. Hay Bluff, which I first climbed about 32 years ago. Let's get to the car park. Last night I dreamed our rough blowing a gale. I've just arrived in Powys, just outside Hay on Wai. Um, I'm at the stone car park which is below Penny Beacon, Hay Bluff and in the distance we've got Toompa going on to Kapili Fan, a little village further along this road. I've brought two items of clothing to review today. I've got the Rohan Ventus waterproof shell. I'm really interested in testing this out. It's got such good features lovely materials. I don't know if you can hear this, but there's virtually no noise when you're playing with it. So it doesn't have that rustle and bustle of Gore-Tex Pro. So it, it's a, a waterproof shell. This is in the carbon color, but they also do a lime green, boreas green. And 
what's really caught my attention with the Ventus is the 20,000 grams per meter squared per 24 hour hydrostatic head. Uh, that's uh, 10 times what is recommended for outdoor use in the UK, you know, by the Duke of Edinburgh program. And having that level of waterproofness coupled with breathability and it, you know it's a nice looking jacket as well i want to go through the features um in particular the barricade technical fabric so this is sort of rohan's equivalent of gore-tex pro but as i said it's just not noisy at all it feels soft to the touch and it really makes a difference it's a triple bonded fabric so you've got a, a water repellent outer with a hydrophilic sort of middle section and then all bonded together with an internal breathable lining so you've got those three nicely bonded together makes it lightweight i believe this weighs in at 485 grams and it's currently retailing at rohan for 320 pounds which if it's as good as i think it is i think is a bargain um, in terms of pockets got big side pockets and these are dry pockets they're sort of lined there's this very nice uh, zips here which are sort of sealed not going to get water ingress there and the same for the big front zip down the front of the jacket uh, there's an internal pocket which will fit a uh, OS map I believe and I think there's a little key ring in there for securing your you know your essential keys and stuff so that you don't lose them in terms of hood it's a two-point adjustable hood with enough room for a helmet if you need it but you can then tighten it onto the skull and it has that nice wire beaded peak which means you can sort of sort of mold it to the shape that you want it's going to be really important up here when I'm trying to film and sort out how it goes so I'm going to wear that on top of a uh, a down jacket that I've got, a Rab Prozar jacket, and I have reviewed that before. So if you just click up here, you want to see the review of the Rab Prozar. Great down jacket. Um, I, I forgot to mention that this is a very packable jacket as well because it's got that soft barricade fabric. It will pack down to a 1.5 litre size. You know, so that is a pretty small waterproof jacket. Coupled with the lightweight, I think this could be a winner. In terms of the trousers, this is the dry range of trousers. And these aren't over trousers, these are walking trousers, but they incorporate the barricade technology inside and what they call a drop liner. So these are nicely seam sealed as well uh, with that liner. I don't know if you can catch that here, it might be a little dark, but really soft inner liner for the dry ranges. And again, you've got those dry pockets and got a, a reinforced waterproof gusset little belt included I'm gonna put these on uh, put my boots on put my fleece on and then put the Ventus waterproof jacket on over the top and I'm gonna venture up that big hill that you can just see there so let's get going the question is how cold is it it's really really windy it's not actually any rain at the moment, which is a real shame so, uh, excuse me while I uh, just uh, drop my drawers. Buttons, zip. Yeah, barricade, breathable, windproof and waterproof. So that's the same for the jacket as well as the trousers. And I forgot to mention the windproofness. So, technical fabrics. You really need to be looking for technical fabric which is breathable windproof and waterproof I mean they work on the principle that water droplets can't get in but they have little pores in the fabric which allow water vapor out so as you're sweating that water vapor can get out but the water the rain itself can't get in and make you wet In terms of pit zips, the Ventus jacket has those underarm zips and that also allows for ventilation. I'll be demonstrating that 
So that's, that's a really important feature as well for letting that vapor out so that you don't get water building up inside your jacket leading to misery. Okay, one, two on. The other thing is it's pretty late in the day at the moment and uh, we're in December so uh, it could get quite dark up on the hill if I'm not too careful. And I don't know how I'm going to keep the tripod standing up because it was falling over before when I was trying to film the van parking up. So it's going to be interesting that's for sure. Get the rubber right on. Woohoo! Ah! <laughs> ah! I'm going to put the Ventus shell, the Rohan, on top of the Rab Prozar. Got the Dry Ranger trousers on. Let's get this label off. So I'm going to really be testing the windproof uh, nature of the barricade material on the uh, Ventus shell here. And the trousers are windproof as well. So hopefully we get some rain and we can see what happens. So let's get this zipped up. Really nice performing zip on the Ventus. What's interesting is the pockets are diagonal. The pockets go that way. You zip them open. Like so. I can put my phone in there. And the, there's a flap over the pocket. And that again stops water going in. Right. Grab my rucksack. Pretty windy. It's heading up to Haybluff up there. Rain's starting to come down there. So I want to see if the durable water repellent finish on top of the Ventus will cause the water to bead up and just roll off. That's what Rohan say it'll do. looking good, I can already see tiny little droplets forming. It's going to be carnage up on that hill. <laughs> Proper weather. Really feel alive, come on. Walking down in sheets. This is a proper test. Let's get the hood of the Ventus on. Get the microphone as I fly. Let's do on the choke. Oh, this is biblical. Need to do it up on the back. evening a bit more crazy on a scale wow I 
just skip to the top of this hill. I lasted it a long time ago and uh, a bit older now, father time has taken over. Whoa! Let's crawl the last bit. So here's the trousers. It's raining fairly heavily now and uh, you can probably see the water on the surface but the DWR coating is keeping that out I'm totally dry underneath it's got that dry, dry liner layer as well with the barricade 20,000 hydrostatic head Just giving the Rohan gear uh, another waterproof test. Back home now and it's raining. Hopefully this is more of a visual test. We can see the water droplets literally beading on the jacket. And this is what you want to see when you're using a waterproof shell. So that's the DWR finish, durable water repellent. So the water just hasn't got a chance really, it's beading off before it's even got a chance to hit the barricade level. Just going to go for a little walk around. Good fit of a jacket. This is the XL. I'm six foot three. So if you do want to wear the jacket over a down jacket, you want to have a little bit of extra size in the fit. The hat is brilliant. The hood, sorry. I've pulled these drawstrings really tight here. So it's really fitted quite tightly now on my head. I did find that up on the mountain, there was a tendency for the, the hood to come off, but I didn't have it pulled tightly enough. But yeah, there's no doubting the waterproof performance of this jacket and windproof. Well, I'm back home now and I've given it a few days after that crazy experience of that walk. I literally couldn't stand up. It was so windy, so wet. I couldn't really film. I couldn't get the sound on the microphone. Every time I put the camera on the tripod, it fell over. It was a great experience, but probably not the best viewing for you guys. So I do apologize about that. And I thought it's probably best to leave the thoughts of that uh, percolating around in my mind for a few days and then just record my conclusions of this Rohan gear, you know, back in the warmth of the house. Um, so let's talk about the Ventus jacket first. Overall, I'm very impressed. The 2020 barricade material worked flawlessly. Um, so by that, that's the 20,000 millimeters of hydrostatic head. That's how waterproof the coat is. And, you know, I, I had no ingress of water. And my down jacket did have some moisture on it, but I just think that was the overall humidity of the day, the bucketing of the rain and my sweat. This is a very breathable shell, but I think I've always found breathability, you know, the claims are often exaggerated compared with the performance. You are always going to get some condensation build up. It's a bit like tents, the same sort of idea. But in fairness to the jacket, I did not have the pit zips open 
And that's a major source of condensation because of the perspiration coming from under your pits. So I do apologize to Rohan if you're watching. You know, I probably didn't test this correctly. Um, I love the material. I mean, that is my overall takeaway from this. This barricade material is so soft to the touch. You know, so the Gore-Tex Pro jackets I've reviewed, the Mountain Equipment Lotsy, great jacket. Uh, similar sort of weight, you know, around the 480, 500 gram mark. And actually weight is absolutely uh, not of relevance in my mind for these kinds of jackets. But the, the tactileness, the softness of this fabric used by Rohan is exemplary. And for me, a major, major selling point and gets the thumbs up from that side of things. In terms of pockets, I like the pockets. I like the big pockets on the side. You can put your hands in walking along. The internal pocket, useful uh, over here. It's got that uh, sort of key ring little thing in there to lock up your essential keys so you don't lose them. And that's a big enough pocket to put a ordnance survey map in. I like the color. One thing I found difficult was adjusting the hood. And that was purely because I hadn't really worn the jacket before. I was carrying a big rucksack, I was carrying a camera tripod, and I was trying to do it one hand. I had to put everything down so I could get two hands. So just in the hood is a two hand job, really. Uh, the peak is excellent, though it was one of the best wire adjustable peaks I've seen on a coat. So overall, I totally give the thumbs up for the Ventus jacket from Rohan. Awesome bit of kit. Let's move on to the trousers, which I happen to still have on. Uh, I've sort of been living in these dry range of trousers. So these worked well as well. Uh, they've got the, the drop liner inside. This is the barricade material. And it's a separate, it's not bonded like in the coat. They're all bonded, the three layers together. So it's just one, it feels like one single piece of fabric. This. It's got like a, a, a dual a sort of skin inside, which is the drop liner. You know, you can feel that rustling around a little bit as you walk. And it does, it, it makes the trousers warmer. So they're quite good for winter walking, I think, because you've got that dual layer. They are waterproof. One thing I noticed though, obviously, if they're gonna get wet, the water will be on the outside. And unlike a pair of over trousers, you, when you get back to your dry place, you can't just whip off the over trousers and then you've got dry trousers underneath. With this, the whole thing is wet on the outside. So what I found was I sat in my camper van when I got back and there was you know, basically a puddle of water on the seat. I was dry inside, <laughs> inside the clothes, but my camper van was soaking because I'd sat there. So that's what, all I would say. It's just something I hadn't really uh, thought of much because I typically use over trousers. And I don't think I'm going to be changing from that for outdoor walks. You know, I could wear this when walking, but I think I would still probably put some over trousers on if the rain started bucket, bucketing down. It's just a mentality thing. I like to walk as normal in dry clothes when the rain comes, I put on a shell and over trousers. When the rain goes, I take off the over trousers and the shell. That's just the way I like to walk. And it doesn't mean that's the way you like to walk. I think the dry range of trousers are great. They're really well made, great fit. I like the five pockets, the two on the thighs, two here. The angle, interesting. Again, I, I, I found it hard to access some of the pockets when I was up on, up on the mountain. Again, that's probably because I wasn't used to the trousers. But, you know, the zips were a little fiddly to operate, find the, the cord and, you know, when, when it's all hell is breaking loose up on that mountain. But, you know, I can't criticize the trousers. They, they do a good job, they're good quality. And it, it's another thumbs up, but, Probably not for me in terms of using them strictly for walk, you know, rain walking. Anyway, 
That's just my opinion on the gear, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please, if you like the content here, please like and subscribe to the channel. We're trying to grow it and we're trying to give as many reviews of camping gear and equipment as we can. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.